Hello guys and welcome to my Clean Code series, where I'm talking about how to write cleaner, understandable and more readable code. In this episode, I'm gonna talk about comments, why they are bad, and I'm gonna show you some use cases when they're actually helpful. So let's start. So besides the programming part and uh, implementing some features, what we're trying to do is actually write more readable code, the code to be clear, the code not to repeat itself, and we want the code to be simple and uh, we want to make sure that when we come back to the code in a couple of months or weeks or I don't know in a year, we'll, we'll uh, be able to understand it and read it and uh, edit it without uh, any uh, significant problems. The first thing that you might be thinking is to make the code more clear, more understandable, I should write more, more comments to make the user read the comment and understand what my code is actually doing. But today I'm gonna argue that when you're adding comments, you're doing actually the opposite of it. Comments are added to compensate for uh, bad and unclear code. When you write code and it's unclear and uh, you don't have the time or you're too lazy to make it clearer, to make it more understandable, you're simply thinking to, to add a comment to explain what this code does and you think that it will solve the issue and uh, your code will be much more clear now by simply adding a comment. But after a while, after you added your comment, and uh, suppose the comment was actually a good one, was helpful for the code to make it understandable. After a while, you're trying to maintain your code, you're changing stuff, and not necessary, you remember to maintain your comment. So after a while, your comment starts to lie. It says one thing when the code says another thing. When this happens, people usually just don't read comments, they skip the comment part. So instead of adding to uh, understandability of the code, Comments actually just adds uh, more lines to the code, they don't mean anything. They lie and people just skip over them, so why bother adding them? In instead of adding the comment and thinking what to write in the comment, use that time to think how to make the code clearer. The code is testable, it you can test to check the code say does what it says it does. But comments aren't, you can't write a test to make sure the comment is actually uh, documenting the code uh, and the comment, what it, the comment says is actually done by the code. Moreover, when the comment is becoming obsolete, meaning it uh, doesn't say what the code does uh, under it, uh, usually it tends to, to confuse people because even if you're reading the comment and it says uh, it does, the code does A and the code does something differently, you're trying, you're, you're confused, you don't understand uh, whether the comment is, bo is bad or uh, you're not understanding the code. So you invest more and more time to understand uh, the code itself. Usually you do understand the code from the first time if it's written well, uh, but when the comment says something else because it's unmaintained and it's obsolete, so now you, you're trying, you're confused. You don't understand what you're reading because the comment confused you. In many cases, the comments just say what the code beneath them is doing. For example, if you have a getUser method that uh, expects user ID as an input, usually above this method you'll see a comment saying uh, something like this, uh, returns the user by the user ID. You could actually understand what the method does simply by looking at the signature of the method getUser with the user ID and you're pretty much understanding the same thing the comment says to you, so it's really unnecessary. When comments uh, say the same thing the code does below them, uh, you're making the programmer to read the same thing twice. Uh, you read the comment and the next thing you're doing is you read the uh, code that does exactly the same thing the comment did be uh, said uh, before. So you're actually wasting time of the programmer. and. It's, it's annoying, you, you have to read the same thing twice. Many comments can be replaced with a call to a method. Suppose we have an if statement that checks the user age and whether the user has the money and we have a comment to, to explain uh, what the code does and it, the comment says check if the user is legible to buy the drink. So we have a little context to say uh, we are checking that the user is over 18 and he has enough money to buy the drink. We can do the same thing just ex by extracting the comment to a method and we'll call the method 
basically the, with the same uh, meaning of the comment. It will be, is the user eligible to buy a drink? It will uh, get the user and the drink and will check uh, the, the same statement it checked before, the user is over eating and he has enough money. So now we have uh, accomplished two things. The code that uses this method is more readable, we understand what we are checking, and the if statement that checks the, the user age and the money, it's documented as well by the method name. And we don't have uh, any comment to document it because the code is self-explanatory and uh, we can actually test it now. We can test the code does expect exactly what it says it does. Sometimes comments uh, try to hide very very long and sophisticated code and uh, usually when you see something like uh, a try statement with a bunch of code and in the end you have uh, the closing bracelets and uh, you see the comment of uh, end of uh, try it's actually a sign that uh, the content of the try block is actually too big and uh, should be extracted into one method, two methods, uh, million methods, I don't know and uh, moreover when uh, you have like a while loop and the if statement within a for loop within a try statement you have in the end of the block you have uh, many closing bracelets to understand which is closing what usually people tend to to add a comment of this closes the if, this closes the while, this closes the, uh, the for loop um, and this is another sign of uh, too complicated code uh, if you have to add those comments think twice before doing this uh, usually it's a sign you need to do some refactoring to extract uh, into some uh, smaller method that uh, does uh, some uh, for loop another method that uh, does the if statement and calls the method that does the for loop or some other refactoring method uh, and this way you'll make sure the code is more readable, more documented and uh, more clear. One of the worst comments uh, I can see a lot in uh, code is actually commented out code. Uh, when you see a code that it was comment out, usually when uh, people comment out code uh, it's for two reasons. Either they want to check something uh, that the code does, is it important or not, but when they leave it with a comment, it's actually to, to remember how uh, this code was written before, uh, maybe to leave it for further use, like uh, in some uh, day or two or a month, I'll need this code, so I'll find it. But nowadays there are actually pretty good source controls, so instead of commenting out the code, just delete it and if you'll need this code in this method you can watch, look for the history of the code and uh, get the same code that was written there and uh, did that thing. Um, usually when I uh, see those comments I look at the time they were made and it's like uh, one year ago, two years ago, so probably it's not gonna be a useful code and uh, even if someone uh, did use this code somewhere else, he probably didn't know this comment even existed and it's just a dead comment and it doesn't do anything, it doesn't give no information, it confuses because when you try to read the code, you see this comment, you don't understand what it's supposed to do, you just skip it and uh, if you do try to understand what it does, usually it's irrelevant to the code that's written and it just confuses you. So simply, instead of commenting out the code, just delete it. Please, do yourself a favor, do your partners a favor, do your co-workers a, a favor and just delete this code. After all of my talking, if you still have to add a comment, please make it short because the longer the comment is, the less chance someone will read it. Uh, people are lazy, programmers are even lazier and when we see a long comment we just skip it and uh, we try to figure out uh, what the code does without reading the comment. Don't get me wrong, I'm not saying that every comment is a bad one. There are actually some reasons to comments to be useful. For legal reasons, uh, you sh sometimes need to leave a comment uh, for copyrights. When you're using regular expressions, uh, they tend to be uh, not very clear from the first sight. You need to invest very very long time to understand what the regular expression does especially if it's more of like 5 or 10 char characters so, uh, it's very unclear uh, what the regex does 
So one of the methods to make the uh, regex more uh, clear is simply uh, assigning to a variable to say what the comment does, but sometimes it's not enough. For example, you can uh, create a regular expression to parse some uh, daytime string, uh, but uh, there are actually a lot of daytime strings uh, to be parsed, some with uh, a date uh, with long format, with like uh, plus uh, x hours, uh, some with uh, short ones, some with uh, AMPM, some with uh, 24 hours format. So it's not very clear what format you're using and uh, it's actually very helpful to, use, uh, to leave a comment of the format you're parsing. Like leave a comment with an example of uh, uh, some formats, the regular expression is, uh, is looking for. Sometimes you have to write a code uh, that is not very clear, uh, not of the code it does, it's actually very clear what the code does, but it's not clear why you're doing it. Uh, because, I don't know, some uh, business uh, logic came here uh, and uh, you have to uh, disable this action uh, the user performs just because uh, it's it's not supported yet by your application or you don't want to support it uh, or deprecate it so you're writing some if statement if uh, the user is trying to do some action just abort it or throw an exception and it's not very clear why you're doing it so leave in a comment like uh, for now it's not supported because da 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 or uh, we uh, don't, do not want to support this uh, action because uh, I don't know, some reason. Uh, this is actually very helpful to, to explain uh, the intent of our code uh, when the intent is not very clear from the logic perspective, but it's uh, more of a business decision. Warning comments for other programmers are actually useful as well, where, for example, you leave a comment that uh, you should be very careful while running this code because this code is actually uh, altering some uh, production uh, data or this code is uh, running very very slowly so if you're trying to run this code uh, know that it will take like I, know, I don't know an hour to run so go ahead and make a coffee before on run this code only at night or I don't know uh, run this code only when you have uh, time to kill. So these are actually useful comments uh, just to make sure the other programmers are aware of this and will not waste any time and wait until the code is finished uh, because it's a waste of time. To-do comments are actually quite useful when you're not abusing them. Uh, when you don't have time to, to do one thing that uh, the code must do here, you should, uh, you probably will want to, to add a to-do uh, to pinpoint the, uh, the place and what to do in this place uh, so the next time you'll be implementing this uh, special uh, use case it will be much easier to find the, the place to do it uh, especially uh, nowadays uh, most of the IDEs support searching for the to-dos like in a task list and uh, you can watch and look for all of your uh, to-dos in the code uh, in one place. But you should, uh, when you're adding a to-do, you should actually think about it and uh, maintain your to-dos uh, so they will not uh, overwhelm your code and uh, you'll have more to-dos than the code and uh, it will be unmaintainable. So when you're adding to-dos, uh, put some uh, task in your uh, task board uh, to finish this to-do. It doesn't have to be right now, it doesn't have to be this month, but uh, the task should uh, appear in the board and uh, if the task is not important, like if you delete this task, you should also delete this to-do. Sometimes you're writing a code that's not very clear because you're using some third-party library and uh, it's, it's not clear what you're doing here because of the limitation of the third-party library. For example, suppose you're using some uh, geometry uh, library and it only works with a 3D dimension uh, geometry, but your application is actually working with 2D dimension. So, you're, uh, so there is a line of, in your code that adds uh, zeros to the third dimension of the geometry. 
And when you look at the code, it it can confuse why you're doing this. It's it's not clear. So you can leave this uh, comment like uh, the third party library we're using uh, has to uh, only accept uh, uh, 3D geometries and uh, we're using 2D geometries. So I'm adding a zero to the third uh, dimension of the geometry. Sometimes you have to uh, use some sophisticated algorithm like uh, BFS, DFS, Minkat Max Flow, Dijkstra, and uh, it's you can add the name of the algorithm in the method you're calling, but uh, sometimes people don't know those algorithms and there are many, many more algorithms that I'm sure not all of the people are aware of. So sometimes it's useful to add a comment with uh, a simple explanation of the algorithm if it's available, and if not, you can, link, you can leave the comment to the uh, wiki page or some other uh, uh, URL to uh, explain the algorithm and it's actually a useful uh, comment. To summarize, in order to write clear code, one code that is easier to read, to understand, code that doesn't repeat itself, you need to put an effort not to add comments to your code. When you think to add a comment to your code, stop and think for a second. Does this comment actually giving any more information? Can you do, uh, give the same information just by altering and refactoring your code a little bit? Uh, if, if the answer is yes, and uh, most probably it will be yes, so do the opposite thing. Do not add the comment, just refactor your code a little bit. You have watched an episode of Clean Code about comments. Let me know what you think about it by leaving a comment in the section down below. You can watch more Clean Code episodes by clicking here. If you want to see more code related videos, check out my channel and feel free to subscribe. See you later on Program Artist.